Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, good morning. Uh, it's Nick Collier once again, uh, and uh, it's late April. We had a cold snap the last couple of days, a little bit of rain, and here in California, a little bit of rain is much appreciated. Um, and uh, I, uh, I've been advertising in Seattle, Washington for, I don't know, three or four years now. And I keep thinking, oh man, I'm throwing good money after bad because nothing comes out of Seattle. And the other day, this guy calls me up and he goes, hey, I got a job for you. And, you know, I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, it's some little dopey ass piece of crap job that I, I'm not going to really enjoy. And uh, so I, you know, but uh, play along, right? Hey, something may come up of it. Well, it turns out the guy sends me 15, no, um, not 15, 18 drawings. Uh, he works for a company in Seattle and uh, he wants me to do all the all 18 pieces which is going to be a godsend for uh, for us uh, a little bit of cashola and uh, and some pretty interesting segments you know uh, each each project is a bigger piece or is a small piece of a bigger project uh, they're building some kind of electric motor I can't go too much further than that so what we're gonna do is we're going to come in and uh, I bid the job they accepted the bid uh, I ordered the materials they're on their way I've got a couple of I've got a little bit of aluminum here that I can begin the project with and uh, we'll uh, we'll get started First thing okay. we're going to do is go over to the mill and square up the mill. Make sure that it's good and square because I've got uh, a ton of projects, mill projects, and uh, it's been a while since I squared up the mill. So it's time. Okay, square is square, and uh, yeah, you can go buy one of those fancy double things. Uh, that's it works just fine to do it that way you know it probably makes it a lot easier I ended up just getting a rod and a piece of material and welding the ends and putting uh, an indicator on one side and I think that's gonna pretty much get me and I've had this thing for oh I don't know 10 15 years now and it's done me just fine. So we start at zero, we swing it around, and the one downside of not having the two gauges is you gotta do a mirror. So we're sitting at, yep, we're off by about uh, three thousandths. And I wanna be closer than that. So what I like to do is set the mirror up so that I can just see it. All right, so that means our head is off. Let me move you around here. There we go. So it's off this way. So we're going to loosen these three bolts. One, two, and three. And it doesn't seem to matter how tight I get those bolts, this head tends to come undone over a period of time. Okay. 
All right, we got zero on each end on that direction. Now we need to do this direction. And we're a ways off. Okay, here's the first one we're going to start on. Um, fairly simple, uh, a bearing block uh, with a, a kind of a clamp. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, start doing it and see what we can come up with. All right, so as um, far as I can tell, uh, we need to put a two and eighth inch hole or about a eighth inch hole right down the center of that and um, and it looks like it's dead center so uh, I think we should swing over and go ahead and uh, find our edges and then find dead center and let's just swing you over there it is right there And it'd be nice if I could do the DRO and this part at the same time, but that's not going to happen. I know uh, that other YouTubers have this little trick thing that they, you know, put two screens up at one time. I don't know how to do that. So maybe I don't have the right program. Maybe I haven't explored the program enough, whatever. There we go. We're almost ready to kick. And it just kicked. So we're going to set it at zero and try it again. All right, it kicked there and not pretty close. It was six tenths. All right, so now let's take it over here run this in oh about halfway just in case that line is a little funny uh, it didn't look like the outside edges were uh, anything specific so when I cleaned up this metal I uh, I wasn't being real careful okay I thought, you know, I could drill this thing out and just drive myself crazy stepping up drill after drill after drill, or I could just come in with a uh, hole saw and saw it out, and I think it's going to be deep enough, just barely deep enough. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah. So we'll, let me set up the saw and we'll see how So normally I would uh, go ahead and uh, put the drill bit in here, the pilot drill. But since we're on the mill and the mill holds everything pretty secure, um, I don't need to drill that pilot hole and I might be able to use that plug for something else in the future. So we're going to not use the pilot hole.
And we need to slow this thing down a bit. Something like that. And we're sitting at visualizing to make sure we're in the center and we are a little go juice and let's go ahead and get started Okay, well that took a bit. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Uh, it, it cut fine, it's just that there was no place for the chips to go. So, you know, it just bogged down. Um, we do have a reasonable hole here and a plug that's got to come out. Hopefully I can get it out. Yep, there it is. Now we got to go another 125 thousandths bigger. And probably somewhere in there. Let's see what that's going to do. All right, a little bit more. Okay, we're going to set up the automatic feed on this one. this out with the um, with the hole saw uh, I guess the saw got just a little bit wobbly and it bored this hole out too big so this whole thing gets tossed trash heap time and uh, I went in uh, without filming it and uh, just did a whole nother piece uh, luckily I had a extra piece of aluminum laying around and so we're going to take a whole nother tact to drilling that hole and we're going to go over to the lathe. All right, well the general plan of attack is, and I found my center, we're not going to do any messing around, we're just going to go for center. And then once we get a hole drilled, we'll come back and bore it out more accurately, you know, 
uh, taking measurements from each side. So for right now, we're just going to run this thing up against here. We're going to run our center in. Maybe. There we go. And we've got, you know, somewhat of a center there. So now we can just close our jaws. So digging through my jar of uh, aluminum chips um, should uh, work out pretty good. And because we've got this fairly fragile surface, I'm having to make sure that these chips are uh, don't have any raw or rough edges on them. And this one does. I mean, nor normally the chips are for steel, but now we're going aluminum to aluminum. Not as good a deal. All right, and we have found center fairly quickly. Uh, let's go back up above here. All right, so let's get a drill bit. First a drill chuck. beast up we're gonna and you can see it's a little bit out but you know no big deal Okay, for a minute there I freaked myself out because I thought for sure I had uh, cut the hole uh, too big again. And this is a one and half inch bit and we need to go to two and a half. So we're within range. <laughs> Okay, we got our hole drilled. Uh, now we uh, take it over to the mill and lay it out carefully and get that hole centered and then bore it out another hundred and some odd thousands. All right, well, we're going to center this thing up one more time. Oops, we're going to have to move the camera a little bit. Mm. 
a little bit more. Okay, that's probably gonna work. Slow that baby down. That's probably good. And there that is. Okay. Let's add a hundred thousands to everything. Uh, the other way. Ninety, one hundred, zero that out. Take this back. Yep, that's hundred thousands the wrong way. Okay. And zero that out. So now we are exactly right in that corner. So we come in. We've got four inches, two hundred and fifty-one thousandths. Four inches. 251 divided by 2 equals uh, 2 inches 125 thousandths. So, inch and a half. That ought to give us something. Snug the gibbs down a little bit. And I think we're ready to rip. Okay. So we got a, a hundred and 80 or 90 to go so let's go ahead and take this thing out a little further and I want to slow this down Yeah, that's what I thought. This this blade is just a little bit kicked over too far. And that's why it's rubbing. So let's bring it back a little bit. 
and I'll bet you we'll get a much better cut. Okay, we got 25 thousandths left to go here. And I think what we're going to do is go ahead and be a little more accurate with our cut. Okay, we got an F drill. We drilled that sucker through. I believe through, yep. Yeah. Um, now we're going to put a 5 sixteenths. Um, Let's make sure this is a 5 16 3, 1, 2, 5. Yes. Five sixteenths coarse tap. Let's see if we can get that thing to spin all the way down. No chance. But I got a good start.